Hey there, friends. Guess what day it is? It's jewelry grab bag day. Woo! So my mom just dropped off a mm, fresh picked bag of gems for our Etsy store. And I weighed this one. It weighs two pounds. There's two pounds of jewelry in this bag. That's a lot. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, my mom and I run a vintage jewelry store on Etsy called colblk.etsy.com. I know, it's a weird name, but whatever. Um, we have had this shop in business now for 14 years. I didn't realize it was that long till I did the head math. And so yeah, that's a long time. Um, so yeah, we are a small business. My mom is the scout. She has an eye for vintage jewelry and she goes around the Midwest and finds really cool gems um, and vintage goods. And I am the seller. So I do all the photography, the listing and the selling. And uh, my dad chips in once in a while and he's, uh, he'll run packages down to the post office for me. So it's a true family business. Uh, it's it's really fun sometimes depressing when you uh, do your taxes every year and you're like why why do we still do this but it is fun and uh, I like I like finding cool things with my mom and getting them into the hands of people that want them so let's see what she found you're probably wondering like why why Nicole are you showing us what you find is this just a marketing ploy well in part yes it's marketing but also I I try to educate people on vintage jewelry so that in case they have something that's worth something, they don't just give it away uh, or that they could pass it down as an heirloom. I find so many heirlooms and things of value that people just, just threw away. And, you know, especially if you truly needed the money, um, you know, there's, there's something to be said to really look at something and see if it has markings or not. This is a beautiful, beautiful bracelet. Um, and actually, this is sterling silver. It is marked 925. This is a really good quality piece. A little toggle clasp. I don't know how old it is. I don't think it's terribly old, but this is really, really nice. Heavy too, very heavy. Oh, nice piece of abalone. I see these a lot. These are common uh, souvenirs uh, from Mexico. This might be alpaca. Yeah. Sometimes these these you definitely need to test because they're not always sterling silver. Sometimes they are a cheaper nickel silver or have alloys mixed in. So definitely test these uh, before you resell or try to cash in. It's another abalone. Some inlay. Looks like some uh, mother of pearl inlay with that. Let's see if this one is marked. Marked Mexico. Oh, yeah, we see these a lot. They're pretty common. Nice, very simple. Sterling. Another Mexico piece. This is nice. Yeah, this is 925. Some gold over sterling right there. A lot of cups. Oh, this is a dandy. This is a really nice piece. Uh, this is, uh, in no uncertain terms, Navajo uh, jewelry, Native American made. My mom said she did repair this one. One of the pieces of coral had either broken or fallen out, so she replaced it with another piece of coral. Um, but this is a beautiful piece. Uh, I'm always delighted when we can offer these in our shop. Uh, that's a really, really cool one. Ooh, interesting. This is brass, copper, and I don't know if that's steel, but a welded together or soldered together cuff. Very stiff, very sturdy. Oh my gosh, look how tiny these are. These are kids bracelets. So this looks like Bell Trading Company. 
uh, copper, little heart turquoise. It's a solid copper and has a little bell. So yeah, that's bell trading. And oh, tiny little turquoise and coral kids bracelet. What does it say? Oh, it says sterling. Wow, those are, they're so small. Aww. And they're well worn too, so I'm gonna really enjoy those. Abalone pinwheel brooch. I feel like I've seen this one before. I've probably, in, in 14 years of doing this, I probably have sold one or more of these. And that's marked sterling on the back. Needs, needs a good cleaning though. It's pretty dirty. Pretty dirty. It's one of the rewarding things of uh, finding vintage jewelry too, is being able to clean it up and kind of bring it back to, bring it back to life. A little tangle here. Itty bitty. Ooh. Itty bitty little ring. Probably a size four or five turquoise. It's a pendant with an opal and a purple stone. Pretty cool and a very fine chain. Ooh, some bone roses. These are typically carved, carved out of bone. There is a label here. Let me see what it is. Uh, the label is very tarnished, so I'll have to get my loop out for that to see who made it, but I come across these often as well. Aw, see? Look at this. Somebody's heirloom charm bracelet. Nobody in the family wanted this. Come on, Diane, Tom, Danelle, Darcy, John, none of you kids wanted this. <laughs> Aw. So sad. Ooh, I, I know West Germany when I see it. These are some West Germany clip-on earrings in green and gold. Good, a pair. It's always so sad when you only find one earring. Some really cool, I think they're called like Rivoli, Rivels, Rivels, uh, crystal clip-ons. Oh, and I make it Hollycraft. Nice. A missing, it's got a missing stone right there. Maybe I can find a replacement. With the matching brooch. Always fun when you can find a set. And these gotta be B. David. Some Aurora Borealis clip on earrings. Nice little mid century gems. Some brooches. Ooh. Sort of a silver polished glass cameo brooch with a little dangle on it. Oh, it can be a pendant or brooch. Very classy. A green starburst brooch. Guilloche or guilloche, however you pronounce it. Brooch with a little little rose. And a jade brooch. This looks nice quality. And it's in this bag. Looks like a lot of amber. Oh yes. Different colors, tricolor amber. So we've got the sort of deep kind of reddish color, the green, and the more yellow, yellow-orange, amber. Little link bracelet. Some dangle earrings. Got a geometric green-amber sterling bracelet. Very cool. And, ooh, what is this? It's a sweet, dainty, cremance necklace. The little rose. So the rest of the bag looks to be mostly watches. Oh, so many watches. Ladies' watches, men's watches, old watches, young watches. Wow. That's, that's why this thing weighed 
two pounds. There were a couple non-watch things left in here, and that is this beautifully beaded, braided, uh, kind of like flapper style lariat necklace. It's very, very long and has some really nice quality glass beads. And this braided sterling, look at that chunky clasp. That is huge. Uh, this braided sterling bracelet, it's kind of a mesh braid. There is an artist engraved signature, I think. Can't quite make it out. And then stamped 925. So great haul, mom. Uh, great haul. These things will be coming to the shop in the next month or so when I get around to photographing and listing all of this. Our shop is coleblk.etsy.com and thanks for watching!